Hi everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Confessions of the Paper Addict design team and I'll be using the Summer Memories cut file. Here's the link to the Etsy shop in case you're interested in that cut file. Originally I wanted to make like a mixture of two, like create a mixture of two cut files. I wanted to use this fun which is from the Sun Sea Sun Fun collection and mix it with summer memories but as my layout starts to take form I don't have enough space for that big title but you'll see you'll see how it goes I am going to pair it up with the simple stories sunkissed collection and this is the picture that I'm going to be documenting and here I bring over my phone because this is the inspiration this is a layout by Vicki Parker for a hip kit club and she used lots of gorgeous tags in her layout and I'm gonna try and use the same thing but I'm going to mix in not just tags but also some of the cut aparts from the Simple Stories um, Sun Kissed collection as you see here. I'm gonna play around with the texture and, 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 and dimension of each of these tags because um, I'm going to be adding um, some brads onto each of the tags and adding ribbon and whatnot. So first things first, I go ahead and start looking for my base. I thought about using this light blue one, this reddish one, and the deeper blue color, but since I wanted to add mixed media, I just went with the light teal one as you see here. I'm going to mark where my picture is going to be because I want to add my mixed media where it's able to where you're able to see it. I, it's happened time um, several times before that I add mixed media and then I end up covering it up with <laughs> with my picture or embellishments. So here I'm using white gesso and the difference between clear and white gesso they do the same thing except that with white gesso you sort of fade out the pattern beneath um, that's right beneath it so I wanted to fade it out because I wanted to add the yeah basically because I wanted to add mixed media onto it and not let it like blend in too much with the background I'm matting my picture, which is roughly six by five and a half. Um, I'm matting it on some white cardstock, and this is going to be popped up on some craft foam as well. I get to work with um, with the tags and the cutter parts. This part is really sped up because I had nearly an hour and a half of footage to edit and yeah it was going to be a pretty long process video now I know you probably don't mind but yeah anyways some of it's pretty straightforward um, as for the cut aparts I do cut up some of the cut aparts that have um, pinks teals and yellow and I cut up all the tags because I wasn't at this moment I wasn't sure which I was going to use I pull in my crocodile my circle not not circle punch but hole puncher my brads and I thought I was gonna do I was gonna use this junte or ropey thread but I end up switching it up for um, some colorful ribbon which you'll see in a bit as before I get started with working on my tags and setting them up I go ahead and grab my mixed media all the link all the colors will be written down in the description box below in case you're you're interested in picking up those colors but I mainly chose teal blues and um, some teals blue and like sea foamy color to add on to the mixed media. Now if you notice, I'm adding a mixed media cloud, or cloud, but a mixed media section at the bottom of the layout because that's where I'm going to be adding in my um, title. That's where I want it to be placed. So yeah, 
So as that that's drying, I start to work on these um, on the tags, adding these brads, just you know, just for dimension. Not all of these tags um, ha will be having will have some ribbon on them. Some of them will just get that brad and that's it. Um, so yeah, so I edit that, <laughs> edited that part out. Um, here I still haven't finished with the tags because I wanted to check out which were the ones that I was going to be actually using because I don't end up using all of them for lack of space. If you look at Vicky, Bar Vicky Parker's um, layout, which I'll try and link it down below, the tags were on the smaller side. side. These are three by four, roughly, or maybe like two and a half or so. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something to consider, the size of the tags. Plus, not only am I using cut aparts and tags, I'm also layering um, pieces of patterned paper just to balance co the colors out because right now if you look at the layout it's very much on the teal side and the picture has dark blue red orange and I wanted to bring the colors from the picture into the layout here's the part where I figured out that I'm not gonna be able to use the fun um, the leftover fun title because it was just going to, for me, it looked too busy. Um, I try to make it work. I start by adding this tag and I do trim the tag up a bit just to make it work. Um, I add this little piece of one of the cut parts to pull out some of the pink and red um, from the top towards the bottom. So yeah, here I'm fiddling. Sorry that you can't see like the really the bottom part completely. So yeah, that's this is where I decide I'm only gonna use the summer memories cut file. You can definitely use that cut file and you know really blow it up, um, or use it like this, like a title piece. And then I wanted to bring a pop of orange, so I just roughly cut out. I eyeballed it. Um, this polka dot orange polka dot paper um, that I'm going to layer in beneath my picture added that little pop of pink um, onto the top I grab everything I pull everything off <laughs> nothing's glued down, down yet um, but I pull everything off I start distressing each and every one of those edges and as I'm and as I'm doing that I'm also placing them where more or less they're going to be on the layout but then I was like wait if I'm gonna add a mixed media to my title I better do it now so I have a chance for it to dry so yeah here I'm spraying it with cotton candy and bed of roses um, and the memories part are is sprayed with man mandarin Mai Tai and freshly squeezed I dab most of the excess up because I don't want it to be like too bold. In the end, it just, it's just gorgeous how it turned out. Um, I do edit out some of the part where I add the brads to each of the tags and where I add the ribbon because, you know, it's pretty straightforward. I can, you know, just do the voiceover part of it without necessarily showing you. But look at that. Look at the tags. Some of the tags just have the brads that packet of brads I think I got at a cherry on top and it's actually some of them are circle brads some of them are hearts stars flowers so yeah and basically the colors are the perfect tone to match this um, collection some of the tags if you've noticed if you flip those two tags that I'm touching right now the other side see they're blank so what I did is that in order to not have too like not for it to not be too busy I basically just used um, flipped some of the tags over and 
I'm going to add the busyness with the embellishments. So not only am I using lots of patterned paper here, I'm also going to be using lots of embellishments and lots of mixed media and it all works out together. I, I really love how this layout turned out. To date, it's like one of my favorite ones. So yeah, so here I forgot to add ribbon to this um, tag and I was already setting up to stick it down. So I add that a navy ribbon on it to bring that pop of navy to the, to the bottom side of the layout. I have this washi tape from the Sun Kissed collection and I'm just layering it beneath some of the paper layers to add that pop of navy blue and it works i love it i love it so yes i even used washi tape here i'm using a lot of things for this layout so then i get to work on the title memories is going to be stuck straight down onto the layout and the rest um, the summer part is going to be popped up on craft foam I don't think I get the chance to film it, but after I'm done with the layout, I go back in with Bed of Roses and color in the thicker part of Summer. So, you know, it adds that pop of, or of red onto the layout, which I just love. And then I go crazy with the, these thickers, these foam stickers. I just start adding them here and there. Um, I do end up using quite a bit of the smaller ones. I still have the ones, the bigger ones left over, but um, I'm thinking about using all those titles in another layout. So yeah, hopefully you'll see something like that soon. So anyways, here I am, as I mentioned, I'm just going crazy with, with the thickers. Most of them are florals. Um, that have little berries attached to them. Some of them are hearts. I'm just using them all up. I'm going crazy. I switch over the pink one for the fun in the sun because I felt like I had too much pink on my layout, uh, which is weird because I have a lot of other colors there, but anywho. Now I open up my baggie of summer themed embellishments. These embellishments are from the Simple Stories Sunkiss collection and from the Pebbles Sun and Fun collection. I add some more washi tape beneath one of the tags there. I add this little girl here because, you know, I was like, okay, this is me. <laughs> I do add some chipboard stickers, some thickers, some stickers, and some die cuts. And I'm just layering them. Since I have lots of pattern paper layers, it's easier for me to just add things in like this because it's just fun to really play with the layers. Now I wanted to pop this banner up that says summer. And yes, I know that I have summer and then summer memories at the bottom, but I don't really mind it. In fact, I love that it adds all those gorgeous colors to that side of the layout. Then I noticed that over to the left hand side of my paper, of my layout, it's a bit bare. So I grab this piece of navy paper, I distress it, add it to that border, and yeah, then just go crazy splattering a bit of the same colors that I used earlier. And here are the close-ups. Off camera, I did add some Nuvo drops and a bit of cotton candy, but I just love, love, love how this layout turned out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you back soon with another process video and take care.